In this section, we're going to be talking about how to find the area underneath a curve through estimation. And we're going to do this by getting back to basics and finding areas of rectangles. And we're going to find each area and then add them all together. And that's going to give us an estimate for the area underneath the curve. So we have two different ways that we can estimate this. We have what's referred to as a lower sum. Now a lower sum, what that means is that all the rectangles stay below our actual function. Okay, And then for upper sums, we have all the rectangles appear above the function. So a lower sum kind of underestimates the area. There's some spaces you can see inside there. The upper sum kind of overestimates the area. So we're only going to focus on these two in this section. Now there is a third one that we'll talk about in later sections and this is referred to as the midpoint. Now the midpoint, what it does is the halfway point or the midpoint of the rectangle ends up appearing on our function itself. So that's a little bit better estimate because it'll be right in between uh, these two. But in this section we're only going to be focusing on just these two, upper sum and lower sum. And our true area, our exact area, will end up falling somewhere between the lower sum and the upper sum. We're going to be getting into finding the exact area in future sections. Now, ideally what you would do to find the exact area is you want to try and find as, the, uh, as many rectangles as possible. We notice that the, the fewer rectangles that we draw, we have more space in between there and, you, and ideally you want to try and fill up as much of the space as possible. So if we can get an infinite number of rectangles, then you could fit infinite number in, the space is going to go down to zero that's in between there, and then we'll be able to find our exact area. So ideally that's what you want to do uh, on this one, but this section they're only having you estimate by using maybe four or eight uh, rectangles. They're going to tell you how many rectangles to draw. You'll have to draw the function and then you're going to be finding the area of all those. And so find the area of each one, add them all together, and that's going to give you an estimate of the area itself. So again, the true area will be between the lower sum and the upper sum. Now, can you use other shapes besides rectangles? Yeah, there's actually a way that you can use uh, trapezoids because trapezoids kind of have, will fill up a little bit more space. And that might be a little bit more accurate way, but we're not going to talk about that in this section. This is the only thing we're going to be doing in this section here lower sums and upper sums with rectangles. So the rest of the examples that we'll have in this session will be focusing on uh, doing that process.